We're going to start talking about the weather now. I'm going to ask JD. JD, sorry, JD is here. Good Hello. morning. Hi. Yes, I'm here. You're well. My microphone's not working, but it's okay. Are you yes, sure about that? Yes. No, no, it's working. Okay. Okay. That's yep. all right. Then. Got him. That's all right. Um, JD, how do you get your weather information? I put my thumb out the window. Yeah. And if it uh, gets cold, or and it's cold, if it rains, that means uh, my, it gets my finger gets half bent. Ah. Oh. <laughs> now I get, I get it from uh, various sources, but uh, I make my own up as I go along. Right. So, thinking about television, radio, and your your um, tablet d or phone. Mm-hmm. Which would you look at most, do you think? Um, my tablet, probably. Your tablet? I don't use my phone for that. No. And so you, you update your weather information during the day, sometimes? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you plan the day, slightly, and then you stay with your plan? I just plan the day around the weather. Right. <laughs> so what you know about the weather at the start of the day? Yeah, and not necessarily going to end the day, but you, know, you never know. And where does the weather come from when it turns up on your tablet, or the information? From the think? skies. From the skies. <laughs> <laughs> from the cloud. <laughs> um, now, Chris is here as well, we can reveal. Chris is sh pointing at me with <laughs> his phone. If you turn it round to face you, Chris, will you just describe it? Because that's going to work better on on my <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, I use the Met Office weather app, and it says it's good. But let's not talk about that. Uh, let's just talk about whatever we <laughs> wants to talk about. Well, Chris, I thought I would talk. Um, that you're more or less on topic at the moment, because what I thought I'm going to play a cu an another couple of tunes, maybe. But um, what I what I really had thought about was, you want to go to see the weather exhibition at the museum. I do. So that's going to come up later in the program, and I thought I'd go back to a previous conversation that JD and I had oh, a few weeks ago. Whenever the news came out that the the Met Office had lost the contract to provide the BBC with, with information for their shows. Uh, I don't know when it was, October time, maybe? Um, what occurred to me was, maybe the Met Office will survive, because your phone, I notice, is, is connected to the Met Office. So once you've got to look at things up on your phone, yeah. you're quite as happy to go to the Met Office site as you are to go to the BBC site. Yeah. And we, ha we haven't, we haven't pre-rehearsed that, have we? We just uh, discovered that that is the case. Yeah, we did. So, I think, I don't know where the BBC are going to get their information from, but I don't think the, B the Met Office should worry too much. Because if they didn't have a contract with the BBC, they could promote their social media a bit more. Yeah. So... That's just obvious. Nobody's nobody's gonna just if, if you if you do work for the BBC or some other uh, uh, weather organisation or something, do do get in touch with us. Email studio at Phonet FM um, or phone us up oh one three nine two four three four five seven seven. But maybe that's just just obvious that the Met Office can survive. Um, by the way, there's, there's quite a good documentary on, on, I guess it's on the iPlayer, uh, it was on BBC Four uh, a couple of days ago, uh, with the BBC and the Met Office both involved in it, and they talk about the stratosphere and the Gulf Stream and the Gulf Stream, the, 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 the various reasons why our winters are getting colder all the time. And it might have been a repeat, I don't know, I just found it a bit odd, because I think this, this winter's been warmer than most. But most of the explanation was about how cold the winters are. That's, that's why I think it may get colder in what remains of the winter. But we'll, we'll see. They, I'm sure they've got their own information about what's going on.